How's it going everybody? Welcome back. It's that time again uh, for another episode of Bill's Review and we're finally carrying on with um, the Peaky Blinders that we were reviewing before. Um, I know there's been a bit of a gap in uploads um, I just had other things to, to do, to record and um, I, I suppose I just accidentally took a bit of a break from them without even realising. Um, which is a shame because I wanted to try this pretty much immediately because I've been looking forward to it and I've been staring it on my bar for a while. Um, so it's the Raspberry Rum Liqueur, um, which I'm going to guess is going to be like um, their version of Bailey's. And obviously Bailey's is um, a whiskey-based liqueur and this is a rum-based. Um, so it's going to be probably quite different. I don't, I don't know. I've never had one of these before. Um, but I love anything with raspberry flavouring. I'm just a sucker for it. Um, so obviously I'm using this and I'm using my nice new Peaky Blinders glass that I got when I ordered everything. And oh, there we go. It's cork sealed, which I always say means good things. Ooh. I, I think I opened it a bit low, but some like steam came out. Oh, it smells fantastic though. It smells really good. Mm. It smells like um, like those um, raspberry chocolates you get, uh, you know, with the filling in, there, which are one of my favourite chocolates. Right, so I'm just going to do a small one. Don't know if that counts as small. That'd probably have filled a Bailey's glass, wouldn't it? So it's 17% volume, so it's you know it's decent. I wouldn't recommend getting drunk on something like this because it's going to be rich, isn't it? Ooh. Oh no, so that just got my thumb. So obviously, as expected, it's like a pink colour. Um, it's got like a very milky consistency. So it's definitely definitely very um, Bailey's-like in that sense. The smell is fantastic. Wow. That is absolutely fantastic. That is so nice. It's um, you can't really. I wouldn't be able to say you could tell the difference between drinking that and something along the lines of Bailey's. Um, obviously, somebody who was actually like professional uh, taster might be able to tell you because obviously one's whiskey, one's rum. But just I, I don't know. It's just the way it's made. It tastes. It has that same feel, that same spirit aftertaste. But the raspberry in it is just beautiful. can't praise it enough. That is really good. Um, now, I don't know where this is available because I got this off of the drop store um, and I paid £15, which is about right because, to bring them up again, the average bottle of like Bailey's is about £16, so actually I'd definitely choose this over it because um, this is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, 10 out of 10 if I'm to rate it. Um, like I said, unfortunately, it's just not in shops really at the moment. Um, I've not really seen any of their spirits in the shop. Just uh, they have all the beers and ciders in uh, B and M, and that's about it as far as what I've seen. Um, but if you do see it, if you're online, I recommend buying it. Now, obviously, if you just buy it on its own, you can have delivery fees. Um, but if you're doing a bulk order like I did, then you get free delivery. But I can't recommend it enough. It's fantastic, it goes down really easily, it doesn't leave any burn, but you do get that aftertaste of um, of spirit, that spirity aftertaste, but it's not it's not unpleasant, and just it's just a really enjoyable drink. Like I say, I definitely wouldn't choose this to get drunk on or anything like that, because quite simply, it is rich, it's very creamy, it'd be dangerous. <laughs> but now, other than that... Um, I hope you found this uh, somewhat useful. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, I do plenty of booze reviews. It's probably my most watched and my most enjoyable uh, series to um, actually record. Um, amongst all my other content, leave a like if you did enjoy this. And drop a comment, let me know down below what you think. If you managed to get your hands on a bottle of this. Um, obviously, if you've seen it in a supermarket, drop me a comment. Just let me know where it is. Not just for me, but for anyone else that views. Um, and other than that... Thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.